Hey guys, Jay Nasty here. What is up, guys? Um, today's video, you're watching me snipe. I joined in late, and then I got really pissed off, so I started to sweat, and I ended up destroying this kid with a 2.5 KD in uh, FFA. He had a really good win-loss as well, so I thought I had a try hard on him and uh, show him who's boss. But anyways, if you guys don't, follow me on Twitter, and if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I will be uploading a lot of Advanced Warfare stuff and some really beast gameplays. But anyways, what I want to talk to you guys today about is the new... Semi new, well, we'll talk about it, but it's a new engine that Sledgehammer is introducing to the Call of Duty franchise. So, um, a lot of people know, if you didn't know this, Call of Duty has been running off an engine from a Quake engine. Um, so, <laughs> it's Call of Duty since the first one, so all the way to Ghost, it's been running off the same Quake engine. Uh, if you guys didn't know that, I think it, Quake was out in 2004, so we've been using the same engine since 2004. And what um, Sledgehammer is claiming is that it will run differently. This this new engine that they will have has different rendering, different audio, different physics, and uh, different animations. So I'm pretty stoked about this. If you guys didn't know this, Call of Duty Ghost kind of did the same thing that Sledgehammer is saying by they have a new engine or new amp, amped up engine. Well, in fact, Call of Duty Ghost just had a modded Quake engine. So I feel like, I think what this, this article that I am reading is is that there will not be it will not be the same Quake engine that we're used to playing all the way since Call of Duty was, was released, which is really really good news. Sledgehammer is actually taking a step forward, trying to improve the game. I am feeling, but the bad thing is is they're they're coming out of their safety net. Qu the Quake engine is every every developer that develops Call of Duty is they want to stay with that Quake engine because it they know it works, they know it works, it does well, and Sledgehammer is trying to push. The limits of Call of Duty, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's, it's either going to be a really good engine that we all love, or it could be a downgrade. So we never know until about that. But I'm really, really stoked for this new engine, and I feel like this is what we need as a, a Call of Duty player. We need a new feel. We need a new. We need new animations, like he said they were bringing to spice up the game. When when you have the game that is the same every year um, it gets a little repetitive so maybe some new like flag designs and stuff like that new kill streak designs I think it'd really really spice up the game and I'm really stoked for this new engine um, and I feel like you know it's time to move forward we're getting next-gen consoles maybe this new engine will allow us to have maybe a 12v12 playlist I mean if they're gonna focus on next-gen consoles what I really want um, developers to do since they are focusing on next-gen consoles is I want them to actually embrace it and make the game more next gen, more players, uh, bigger playlists. Like, um, for example, a 9v9 domination playlist. Now, I don't know if they're going to bring this or a 9v9 TDM playlist. Like, I feel it's time to kind of move on from that 6v6 maybe and add more players. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I would just really enjoy having more 9v9 playlists and maybe even a 12v12 playlist. I think it'd be a really good idea and I mean ground war in Call of Duty plays fine in my opinion the connection is a little off maybe if they added those dedicated servers that they always talked about adding it would be playable and it'd be really enjoyable so who knows but overall guys I feel like Sledgehammer is taking the right step to making this new engine trying to advance the game make it spice it up spice up the series a little bit and uh, in general just make it better now I don't know how they're gonna make the audio system a little bit better because I feel like Audio is about as good as you're going to get it. So hopefully they don't have none of that dynamic stuff that Call of Duty Ghost had and, and brag about the, the dynamic maps. Hopefully they don't bring that ever again in Call of Duty. There's nothing worse than playing on Trimmer or Fallen when the ground starts shaking and it it's no bueno. It's no bueno. It's no fun. So hopefully they don't do stuff like that. But overall, I'm really excited for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I think the new engine is going to be really great. Uh, if you guys didn't know this, Sledgehammer has been creating this game for about three years now. So... I think it's going to be really good. I really do think it's going to be a really good game. And I'm kind of getting hyped up a little bit because, you know, you can't... Call of Duty Ghost is... It was a letdown, let's be honest. And I think Advanced Warfare can only get better from Ghost. I, I don't think you can get worse than Ghost, in my opinion. But I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. If we can hit 1,500 likes, that'd be awesome. Peace out, Slutbag. Motherfucker!